and we are back again bringing you that proper cockroach content. Today we're going to talk about some more rare cockroach species or as I like to say the extra extra cute ones like this little guy that I have right here on my arm. Um, I remember knowing them as the question mark bug or a question mark cockroach. Is That's that right. correct? That's uh, the accepted common name, question mark cockroach. Although the scientific name is a little more uh, of a tongue twister. Uh, Theria oligrangiana. I can't even say it off the top of my head. But um, yeah, question mark cockroach. That works better. So these are from India. And there's uh, quite a few species of uh, similar cockroach from India. They live in the tropical uh, dry forest where there's a lot of leaf litter. And they tend to live amongst the leaf litter. So while roaches like the hissing cockroaches like dead rotting trees and cave roaches like caves, a lot of roaches like just leaf litter. They uh, these uh, bright patterns kind of help them disappear amongst the leaf litter. It breaks up their shape, kind of like a zebra in tall grass. And um, they develop in the leaf litter. In fact, uh, rotting leaves is the bulk of their diet. And again, they'll eat, um, you know, if they find any poop or like a dead millipede or something, they'll chew on it. But the rotting leaves is the bulk of the diet. So cool. And as you can see, they clearly get their name from this beautiful question mark pattern that they have over here on their back. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like if they existed in the Batman universe, they would be friends with the Riddler. <laughs> and up next, we have a species that's actually new to me, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I could barely contain myself with how cute this little thing was. And he is hard to find. This is a burrowing species, so um, we rarely see them because they're almost always hidden. Here he is. So this is known as the headlight cockroach. And this is one of the most bizarre cockroaches on earth. Let's see if we can get a close up. Ooh. He is so cute. He reminds me of like a really old, like 1960s Volkswagen bug, like the car. And I just think it is so cute. Look at that beautiful, bright pattern oh, that- Just wait, it gets cuter. Oh my goodness. He's There's got some cuter? of his babies in here. They're hard to find. Because they're, well, they're babies. They're pretty cute. Oh no. That seems to be the theme of the cockroach today jump down and hide even if it's on a hard surface look at that so beautiful so can you tell me a little bit more about where this guy lives <laughs> so he's uh from south america so he comes from uh, a variety of tropical forests from dry forests to rainforests and these guys are rotting wood specialists and they like to tunnel into a soft fungusy moist spongy rotting wood they'll make tunnels in it and that is the bulk of their diet rotting wood so cute. So we have two people that love rotting wood. And I'm Maybe? actually, yeah, I would, if, oh, if yeah. he'll let me. Yeah, because I want to look for these babies here. So there's some babies in there. I can't wait to see what the babies look like. Apparently they're even cuter than this guy. But just look at how beautiful the coloration and how shiny this one is. So here's one of the babies tunneled into the rotting wood right here. Let's see if he wants to come out on my hand. So cute uh, little tiny baby. There he is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So oh my goodness. at this stage, he doesn't have any wings. He hasn't developed those cool uh, spots on the thorax yet. Just a shiny little baby cockroach. He looks like another arthropod that we've learned about. Isopod? Looks like an isopod. A little bit. Yeah, they are segmented, but again, six legs instead of, well, however many legs an isopod has. It varies. Awesome. So we've been learning a lot today about these cockroaches that really thrive and love rotting wood. So who do we have here? Because so I bet they love rotting wood too. They love non-rotting wood. They like dead wood, usually moist wood. So these are cockroaches, believe it or not. Termites are cockroaches. They, in 2006, I believe, were officially classified in the order Blatodia with the cockroaches. In fact, these termites are more closely related to the roaches in your house than the roaches in your house are to cave roaches or hissing roaches. So these are a true cockroach, and um, almost half of all cockroach species are termite species. And it really makes sense that they're cockroaches. They live in groups, they share uh, gut microbes to help them digest hard to digest things like rotting leaves and rotting wood. Wow. They just took it to the next extreme to where they're eusocial and that they have a queen and a worker caste. Well, we've got to spend so much incredible time with all of these wonderful little creatures called cockroaches. From the most recent one to join the order, the termites, going back to one of the first ones we learned about. Jason, will you close us out and let us know about this one you have on your hand? Yes, so you mentioned the great white shark of cockroaches, describing the Madagascan hissing cockroach. So here we have the great white cockroach. 
the mysterious albino. It's not an albino. Uh, people think that a lot here, but this one just molted its exoskeleton. So its new larger exoskeleton is soft and white right now. And in a few hours, it'll start to turn brown. And by tomorrow, it'll be solid and brown and it'll look just like its brothers and sisters. Awesome. Well, to the future of the cockroach. So unfortunately for me, we are leaving my favorite group of arthropods, the cockroaches, and we're going to be moving into, for me, my least favorite arthropods that I have ever met. Do you want to give us a sneak peek? I look forward to this. Grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids. The jumpy ones. <laughs> oh no.